I've coached leaders from 27 countries on six continents to achieve greater leadership effectiveness and balance. My passion is to create a happier world and workplace, one leader at a time. We collectively are biologically programmed to avoid fear. When there is the possibility that we might fail, we don't take a risk. But of course, it also prevents us from making a change, from growing in a new direction. What's getting in your way? Why are you not playing a bigger game, having a bigger impact on the world? What's stopping you? One of the strategies that we, is to tell ourselves stories about the horrible things that could happen. Oh my God, if I do that, people will laugh at me. So we stay where we are. 14 reasons I don't need self-improvement. Statement number one, I have achieved all my career goals and have complete career security. Being an effective leader is about how you behave, how you show up in the world, and the path to changing that is first being self-aware of how you're showing up now. This is an exercise in self-awareness because all personal change has to begin with self-awareness. Number three, I have no stressors in my life. Keep in mind that stressors are another form of story. Number 13, I am totally comfortable being vulnerable. In other words, I am okay saying I'm wrong, I don't know, I made a mistake. Leadership is not about a title. Anyone can be a leader who behaves in a way that positively impacts other people. Jim really reminded me of how important it is to smile. Jim does a great job engaging his audience, pulling them in to be interested about the topic, and giving them practical tips on how to be happy. The presentation today, what Jim showed us was if organizations focus on happiness over compensation or even benefits, they're going to have a more engaged workforce. Dig deep and pull up some degree of courage to cross that chasm. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is about when you face the fear and move forward anyway.